like I said, I mean, I spent a little bit of time in the um, the tower and as well as the um, old Russia, I think it old was. Russia is just you know, looking Russia. around. I mean, in the tower, you can sit there and look at that. Um, I can't remember what it's called now. Um, like the the MacGuffin for the plot development, giant orb. Oh, the traveller. That's the, the yeah. I just spent a little bit of time looking at that, and I just thought this is absolutely incredible. The, oh, that's we haven't even mentioned that the story is actually really good. It's did, did you get much of the story and could you play different levels? We we got a fair amount of the story. Um, because the alpha got very little, and then the beta um got a fair, got thrown at you basically. You got um several well known voice actors. Um, Peter Dinklage being one of them. Peter Dinklage. Yeah, we'll awesome. talk about him in a second because um he got a bit of criticism unfairly, I think. Um, yeah, so you get loads of um, story thrown at you, but it's very heavy-handed. It's almost like they're trying to, in the beta, they were trying to make sure everyone knew, oh, there is a story to this as well, guys. Ah, right, I get you, I get you. Um, it didn't come across like that to me playing the game. It came across... There was a bit of exposition to start with this again. Oh, that was the closest it's been. <laughs> Uh, there was a bit of exposition, but there's going to be in a game where Earth is overruled by aliens. Yeah. You can't get away with that. You've got to mention it or something. Yeah. Um, and it's, there was one part I really liked, uh, where humans basically gave the moon to the aliens. Yeah. In hopes they wouldn't, they wouldn't invade Earth. It didn't work, obviously. It's appeasement, isn't it? It doesn't work. It's yeah. It was. I just thought that was an a really good touch because then yeah. you have to go to the moon um, what do you do on the moon um, I'm not see I've played it a few times now so I'm not sure if that's where you did you play the level where you pick up the massive sword I did not but I want to now it's <laughs> it's like an ancient oh, an ancient relic of these aliens you pick this this sword up and you, you, you use it as a weapon in the level yeah uh, if your character dies you one of your friends can use it because you just drop it and yeah. they pick it up. <laughs> Sorry, I was paying attention to what you were saying. I wasn't looking. <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Lying. <laughs> he, this sword is is incredible against the uh, the princes, the uh, like the the bosses of this level. They don't really do much damage, but against your average your average grunt, slicing in half. Yeah. Cutting off of heads. It's a pretty freaking awesome weapon. Yeah. And it looks so good. I suppose it's um probably annoying to keep comparing it to Halo, but it is it's very Halo esque, but you know like the plasma sword from the Halo games. It's Arbitral. It's nothing like the plasma the plasma okay. sword is very quick, very yeah. swift movements, but this is sort of it's a big heavy I'm not sure what it's made of, but it looks like a stone sword. Yeah. And it's actually, it looks a little like the uruk sword from Lord of the Rings. Oh, okay, now yeah, I'm thinking I can it. see that. Yeah. Um, but it's it's a big it's, it's a big slow movement with the the normal shoot button. You've got a big sweeping overhead yeah. uh, attack, and with the 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 other button, the left trigger, you've got a slashing attack that sort of sweeps around, so you can hit mass of en en enemies at once. Yeah. It, it's. Don't want to keep saying it, but it's it's freaking awesome. <laughs> well, no, I think that's what they're aiming for. Is um, it was a stupid amount of um, money they spent on this game, and a lot of it was marketing. Yeah, they spent how much was it on marketing? Did you say? I can't remember how much it was, but um, unfortunately, the figure I come up with now, we should be guessing, but it was um, half a billion dollars. I know. I think that's total. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if that's going to be spread out over the next couple of years or. Because, like I said, a ten-year lifespan they want. Yeah. Did, well, saying that, did you see the the live-action trailer? I saw um, a snippet of it. I didn't catch all of it though. That was. I think that would have cost quite a lot of money to make. Okay. It was. It's similar to the sim Ford Unto Dawn. Similar to that. I've not seen that actually. Okay. Um, but I would have sat there and watched a whole two-hour film. Okay. It just looked. Yeah. Remarkable. Now one thing, um, I keep saying one thing, but um, <laughs> it was a big problem for me in the beta that the first um, time you go into old Russia or anything like that, mm -hmm. 
there's a what's going on? yeah there's um a bit of your ship flying in there's a, a voiceover and you're thinking okay this is the coolest loading screen ever and, yeah. and then every time you go somewhere you're going this is the most frequent loading screen ever yeah I uh, see I I'm not sure if anybody else heard it but I heard it was like a no loading screen game yeah so when I had all of these loading screens I was a bit miffed but it's not nice it's not a it's not annoying after a while yeah you get used to it it's just what you do um see I play with friends and said they all have different ships yeah and that was quite a fun bit because when I had um, enough money saved up I got like the most expensive ship you could get because that's the only thing you could buy in the beta but um in, sorry in my opinion but um <laughs> and going into a, a, a raid with two other people who had the basic ship is the best feeling in the world because your ship is on top on your screen yeah and uh, yeah and then um, you can also was you able to buy um I can't remember what they're called. The little space motorbikes. Oh, the not ghost because that's what Peter Dinklage yep. is. Um, it's ghost sparrow. Is the, sparrow is sparrow. what it's called. Yeah, yeah, I bought one of those. It was literally just a different color in the um in the beta though. It didn't give you any guns or anything like that. Ah, so yeah, in the in the full game you can get uh, ones with guns. <clears throat> ones if you press the bumpers, it banks right to left, so you don't have to turn. Okay, because there's um some things on the moon that had guns on them, but you didn't get to keep them. Yeah, that the alien. Pikes, I think they were called. Yeah. Um, they. They sort of look like the basic version of the upgrades you can buy. Yeah. Because uh, I, th I think they bank right to left as well. Uh, I'm not sure if they Sounds can about right, yeah. I think they did. But they're. Um, they seem to be the, the basics of what you can buy because I've seen videos of people. Yeah. Blowing up those with three or four shots of their. Their sparrow yeah. weapons. Um, going back to the loading screens, actually, uh, mm. if anything, you need to play at least one match of um, PvP because it's got the coolest loading screen for any matchmaking I've ever seen. Once it loads up the lobby and everything like that, you've done all that. It then um, has a bit of narration as your ships come together, the six ships on your team, mm -hmm. and then they all go into um, like a warp drive together, and that's the loading really? screen. As you know, and they all kind of zoom towards the the matchmaking session yeah. like towards the um the level and it just looked really cool because everyone's got different ships and things like that and they're thinking you know this is actually not just building a sense of camaraderie between you but you're thinking right we are a team yeah i can see my team now yeah. and i'm prepared you can it's not the same six ships it's it's not just someone's username on a screen yeah you can see everyone's individual player going into battle yeah yeah i, can, I might have to play if only for I should have waited for that guy really. Oh, if only for um Fantastic for that loading screen. Because in the beta it was still a little bit quiet, obviously, you know, it's probably not got the numbers playing that it had now. Yeah, it's phenomenal man. The the amount of people that are on it. Especially in the in the tower is just Well, I wasn't expecting that many people to be honest. Yeah. I knew it was the highest pre sold game. Oh really? Time, apparently. I know um, that I Watch Dogs had um I think probably had the previous record for that one. For the hacking game. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Uh, I haven't played that one to be honest. Uh, I think it you know kind of got a bit of a backlash towards that, but um that's for a different conversation. Yeah. Um, yeah. From what I've heard, is it's the biggest selling pre-ordered. I should have known that was going to happen. Should have. You've completed the game. Part of me knew. <laughs> Uh, I think you just wanted to hear me speak funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, have you got to bait the other guy? Didn't work. Nope, not at all. He baited me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. Sorry, yeah, what were we saying? I'm getting engrossed in limbo. We were talking about Destiny. We were, ah, oh, yes. The Which sounds like it's my destiny to buy this game. It is indeed, and also an Xbox One, so you can play with me. Yes, well, I need to get an Xbox One as you well. You do indeed. Um, it is, yes, actually, my recommendation is for you, Jimmy <laughs> O'Wheels, to go out tomorrow, buy an Xbox One and Destiny, and play with me for the rest of eternity. <laughs> 
is is tempting, um, especially <laughs> seeing as you can buy a different costume for your Peter Dinklage. Is yeah, I haven't gotten enough money yet. It, yeah, um. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I'm gonna find a dead body but and they, drag it. Speaking of costumes, actually, the armor. I have sacrificed. That's how you do. That's it. how you do it. I have sacrificed armor points. Kid can drag a body, by yeah, the way. He, can. he actually reminds me of Elijah Wood in Sin City right now because of his eyes. Yeah. I've never had that before. There you go. Yeah, the armor in Destiny. It's you get full sets, hmm. and I have actually sacrificed armor points to have a full set. Yeah. Because they look so good, and each helmet is not just a different car helmet; it's a completely different helmet. And in the beta, you had to kind of remortgage your house if you wanted to recolor your um, armor. Is that still a thing? I honestly didn't know that that was an option. Yeah, there's um later on you can get um you can recolor them. I think it's you know, a limited amount that you can recolor them, especially in the beta. But it was that you'd have to do some PvP and you'd have to, like I said, you know, spend everything you have trying to do it. See, that's another thing I've noticed that it's a very expensive. Oh, I thought it was a button. A very expensive. I think uh... this one's the opposite way around. <laughs> I can't remember though. It is, yeah. Very expensive game in the in the fact that if you want anything a new a new gun or a new chest piece of armor, you have to pay yeah. through the teeth for it. Yeah. And you don't get you don't get a lot on a mission. Now it doesn't have the option of you know kind of paying to win. Basically, you can't pay real money to be able to win in this game, as in. No, no, you yeah. you can't you can't like buy glimmer with real cash yeah. to spend in in the the market. That's I good. suppose. Uh, I assume if they have a ten year plan, it's not going to be long until they until they do that. Yeah. Um, I hope they don't. I really hope they don't because you will just have people buying buying everything. Because you divide the you know you divide winning them. themselves. Um, there isn't, as far as me and my friends can know, a way of trading things yet. Yeah. Um, can you mail them to each other? Because there's a mail system in the beta. Uh, that may be what we... Because none of us played the beta. Yeah. Uh, we all went into it fresh. Uh, so we may need to look at that. We have found vaults, um, so you can store things. Okay. Because we, we've, we've all stored rare items that we've had decrypted. Yeah. Um, either for use when we get high enough, or when because we've got a few friends that aren't playing yet such as yourself yeah that when they start playing it we can give them some of our rare items and you can um keep the items between your own characters as well so yeah that's okay so i've only got the one character at the moment but if you put something in the vault as as a warlock when you make your character as a, as a titan you can you can give it the things that you find as a warlock, yeah, uh, which is which is cool. But from what I understand, some of the armor is is character specific. Yeah. So you have the Titan armor, you have the warlock armor. Um, so I'm not sure how that would work, but so as I say, I haven't got that far into yeah. the game. I haven't played as a different character. I haven't really, I haven't done much. I've just sort of fanboyed out and looked at. Bungie's awesome background. Yeah. It's what they do best. That was one thing people were saying. Yeah, um, going back to what I said earlier about Bungie saying this is the biggest game they've done. Thinking about Halo's not a big game. So for them to take on something like this is in. I just want to know how that conversation was started, really. Go, you know, we have this uh, single player, you know, co op campaign with a bit of multiplayer on the side. Let's make it into this huge millions and millions of people playing at the same time. It, yeah, it, that's exactly what it is. It's like someone said, oh, you know what would make Halo better? If we could all play it together. Yeah. And that's exactly what it is. That's not going to work. No, it's not going to work at all. <laughs> um, but it's... You can definitely see Halo in the game. Yeah. You can... Oh, yeah, without a doubt. It's 100%... 
this is what we would have done if we had the money when we made Halo. Yeah. Um, we just we wouldn't take a photo of grass and use that as the uh, the no. floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a. Oh, I forgot. Anyone that who remembers a, uh, the first oh, Halo game? I forgot that was a real thing. That's what uh, it looked like. <laughs> but yeah, mm. it's it's just they have had some of the best artists work on this yeah. game. It is phenomenal. Ooh. 